Pipettes come in different sizes. The arrows show minimum and maximum volume ranges for specific pipettes from 2 to 20 microliters, 10 to 100 microliters, 100 to 1000 microliters, and finally 1 to 5 milliliters. It is important to select the correct pipette for the volume of liquid you wish to measure because selection of the correct size is absolutely essential for making accurate measurements. Rotation at the top of the pipette sets the precise volume of liquid you wish to measure. The volume in microliters is displayed in the small window to the side of the instrument. Be careful not to overwind the mechanism. It is vital to firmly attach the correct tip to the pipette before starting to ensure accuracy. Correct usage of a pipette should be performed as follows. Expel the air to the first stop. This is shown in the video with a line. Carefully immerse the tip in your sample and slowly draw up the liquid in a controlled manner. Take your pipette to a suitable receptacle, such as a cuvette, for dispensing and expel your sample slowly to the first stop then continue to the second stop to fully dispense the sample, again shown in the video with a line. Finally, safely dispose of the used tip in the waste. It is vital to avoid going beyond the first stop when taking up your sample, as this means you will be dispensing significantly more liquid than you'd intended. This type of common error leads to massive inaccuracies when using pipettes. To illustrate, compare the volumes of the two samples side by side. The one on the right has been collected incorrectly. <coughs> Avoid bubbling caused by expelling the air when your pipette tip is immersed in sample. <coughs> it is critical that you avoid withdrawing liquid too quickly into the pipette as this common error leads to inaccurate dispensing of your sample and worse, damages the filter inside the neck of the pipette as illustrated in the video, where you can see that sample has contaminated the filter having been removed for illustration appearing on the left. <coughs> Never invert your pipette while containing sample, as again this damages the filter inside the pipette neck. Similarly, once you have taken sample into your pipette, avoid placing it down on the bench as this can also damage the filter inside. <coughs> Ensure the tip is fully immersed in sample when aspirating to avoid errors. <coughs> Unsecure tips are liable to fall off. <coughs> Correct usage of a pipette should be performed as follows. Firmly attach the tip. Expel air to the first stop. Carefully immerse the pipette tip in your sample and slowly draw the liquid up in a controlled manner. Take your pipette to a suitable receptacle, for example a cuvette for dispensing, and expel your sample slowly to the first stop. Then continue to the second stop to fully dispense the sample. Finally, safely dispose of the used pipette tip in the waste.